Does anyone recognize this snake species? I'll give you a tip. It's the reason I'm using a stick and not my bare hands. Post in the comment what your first impression of this snake was. If you like animals as much as I like animals, hit that subscribe button and the like button. It really helps support this channel. It's another chilly morning here in Florida. The animals are out, the birds are chirping, the reptiles are hibernating. So I just want to show y'all what I actually found while moving a pile of logs right over here in this little mucky creek. Guys, I just seen something here in this creek. And if I'm lucky, it is what it looked like. A slimy, slithery amphuma, which is very closely related to an eel. It's a member of the amphibian family. Its skin is a dark black grayish color, and it doesn't have to come out of the water very often. I'm just trying to dig it out. I've been wanting to film one of these for a long time. Now, technically, this is a member of the salamander family. It actually doesn't have very large legs and only has three toads since the name three toed infuma but uh it would be the largest salamander here in florida and they're indigenous or native to the southeastern united states feeling around with this stick was quite difficult to figure out where this infuma was because they're known to burrow so i had actually contemplated the idea of reaching my hand in there and trying to feel around and see what it actually is Boy, am I glad I didn't, though. Here he is, here he is. Okay, oh, guys, I can see the scales from here. Those are not, that is not an amphibian. That is not a salamander. That is not an infuma. That is a snake, a reptile. Now, a lot of these reptiles right now are in hibernation due to the cold weather we've had here this winter. Now, what kind of snake do we have here? Oh, boy, I know what that is. Anybody else familiar with that snake species? You guessed it. That's the infamous cottonmouth, also known as the water moccasin or swamp viper. It is a member of the viper family because it has heat seeking pits. In fact, five of the six venomous snake species here in Florida are all members of the viper family, with the exception of the coral snake. This is the only water loving venomous snake. It is considered a semi aquatic snake species. In fact, they're such good swimmers and are so well adapted to water, they're one of the only snake species to inhabit islands in the Gulf of Mexico. Guys, this snake is highly dangerous and highly venomous. This snake has been known to bite underwater as well, contrary to popular belief, which is why I'm so glad I did not reach in there and try to grab that three-toed infuma that I would have so mistaken this cottonmouth for. I was lucky today, this guy was lucky today, I'm gonna let him go on his way. I'm gonna not ever grab at something I'm not 100% sure about identifying. In fact, I've seen other cotton mouths in this area. This is the third one that I've seen right here in the last year. And I filmed all three. And if you watch my other videos, you'll be able to see some other footages. I just seen this one about three weeks ago. Surprisingly, he was out and about. It was a warmer day, even though it's still in the middle of winter. And I just seen this snake right here. At first glimpse, I said, wow, that thing's cute. It's small. Perhaps that's a Scarlet King snake. But I didn't go to the old saying of red on black, friend of Jack, before grabbing it. So I stopped myself, remembering this cottonmouth, and said, whoa, just go ahead and verify. Red on black, friend of Jack. Red on yellow, kill a fellow. And you'll be just fine. So I stopped myself, found out this was the Scarlet King Snake, and I went ahead and I'm going to do a whole video on this Scarlet King Snake. There's a lot of interesting facts about it. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks again. I'm your Florida wildlife guy, Alex, the host of the Great Outdoors channel, and hopefully we'll see you in the Great Outdoors.